All right, so here's an example of some solve, uh, simplifying exponential expressions. Uh, we'll go pre pretty quick. Uh, 84 to the power of 0. Uh, 84 to the power of 0. Anything to the power of 0 is 1. Uh, Q to the power of 0 then is also going to be 1. Just to kind of help us remember that anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. Uh, this next example, 4 to the power of negative 2. Uh, we don't like negative exponents when we're simplifying. So we're going to put that down below and make the exponent positive. And then 4 squared is just 4 times 4, which is 16. So 1 over 16 will be our answer for that one. Kind of the same issue here on this next problem. 1 over 5 to the power of negative 2. Uh, we don't like negative exponents. So we're going to take that whole term up top and just make it 5 to the power of 2 over 1, uh, which 5 squared is 25, and 25 over 1 is 25. And this last one, we have a negative exponent, and technically that means it's the negative exponent is going to go to both uh, factors here. And because they both have negative exponents, they're also both going to go down to the denominator. So 3 to the power of 3, and k to the power of 3. And we can simplify this one more time. We 1 over 3 to the power of 3 is 3 times 3 times 3. So that's not 9. That's actually 27. And then k to the power of 3. Now in our assignment online, it's going to take a little bit of work to type these in. As you can see here, 84 to the power of 0 is just 1. That's easy. q to the power of 0 is 1. We got 4 to the negative 2 is 1 over 16. And you can tell over in this preview that it's exactly what I want it to look like. 1 over 5 to the power of negative 2 just was 25. And lastly, this is the where we need to play, uh, have a little bit of practice in. So it's going to be 1 over. Now, if you just type 27k to the power of 3, you notice this k to the power of 3 comes to the outside. And I need that down in the denominator. So I'm just going to follow these directions right here and use parentheses to group the denominator. So I'm going to put parentheses around the denominator, and as you can see, the preview here now looks exactly like the answer I wanted. Okay, let's submit that, and that's exactly how we want to work this problem.